Yesterday, the Eastern section in the AFC Champions League got underway, and today we focus on Group H. We're at the Tong Nhat Stadium in Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam for Hong and Gia Lai against Yokohama F. Marinos, one of the City Group sides, one of three City Group sides in this AFC Champions League this year, along with Mumbai City FC and Melbourne City, who made their debuts yesterday. Well, it's a very pleasant 25 degrees. Good crowd in as well for this one here in Ho Chi Minh City. Uh, Huang An Gia Lai for ease and convenience. We'll call them HAGL, which is their uh, more shortened nickname. They are playing in the Champions League for the first time since 2005, so they're thoroughly looking forward to getting things underway. Kevin Muscat said earlier on he knows it'll be a tough game today, the Yokohama Marinos coach. They have been in Vietnam for a few days now, training and acclimatising, but looking forward to getting their campaign underway as well. They're currently second in the J-League, Yokohama. Five wins from their ten matches so far. They are one of only two teams to have played every full top-flight season in the J-League. But the fans here hoping that the side from Vietnam can go on and cause what would be a little bit of an upset today. These players know each other well, of course, different countries, different nations, international duty. And a lot of them have played around the leagues in Asia now for a, a number of years. So there is a familiarity around among the players, but that will stop, of course, once they get onto the pitch. And there might be a bit of a problem with the, uh, the headgear there for Dong Su. This one of the centralised venues that he's been used for the AFC Champions League this year. In the eastern section, we have uh, Thailand, Bangkok and Biruram. We have uh, Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. And also here, Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. Vietnam, which will host a, a big sporting event just in a, a few weeks' time. The Southeast Asian Games taking place in Hanoi. But for now, the focus of attention is the football. It's nice to see crowds back in as well. Of course, the group stages last year were played behind closed doors. We had that big crowd in for the final at the King Fahad International Stadium in Saudi Arabia. But these are the first group games in these centralised matches where we've actually had crowds in attendance. Some of the crowds in Saudi Arabia in the western section have been very, very good, very noisy, very vocal. Already spotted a few musical instruments around here as well, so it may be... Uh, a similar kind of atmosphere for those looking on today. Kevin Muscat and Kiati Senmuang, the two coaches. Senmuang hailing from Thailand, Kevin Muscat from Australia. Played a lot of his career in England, though, with Wolverhampton Wanderers before moving to Australia later on in his career. Very passionate about their football in Vietnam. Their junior games often get very big crowds. And any success at any level is treated with a certain amount of euphoria here. Very, very big footballing nation, the Vietnamese. And for them to have success in an AFC Champions League campaign would be something they would very much look forward to. Tunan is the captain there for HAGL. Just awaiting the arrival of the FIFA flag. You can just see it there peeking out of the tunnel, which will herald the entrance of the two teams into the arena. Just going early evening here in Ho Chi Minh City.
remember them being very well supported Vietnam at the 2019 Asia Cup over in the UAE there was a, a lot of red around for the Vietnam games it's that what seems like a, an extraordinary long wait down in the tunnel these days for the players to emerge but finally they get the signal and our Thai officials will lead out the two teams Yokohama in the white and HHEL in the in the blue Yokohama looking to continue a, a long line of success for Japanese clubs in this competition. Only the Korea Republic have won more AFC Champions League titles than Japan. The players will uh, line up. We're back to the normal formations now instead of the teams facing each other like they did last year. If you recall, this year we are back to a normal lineup. And then the fist bumps along that line before the team photos and the, the coin toss. Yokohama have got a, a few supporters making plenty of noise. They're going to have to. They're outnumbered by their Vietnamese counterparts tonight, so they will need to be quite vocal, those Yokohama supporters that are in tonight. It's the 41st edition of the AFC Champions League, Asia's premier club competition. And there are only 19 teams, don't forget, in the eastern section after the withdrawal of Shanghai Port due to their uh, travel issues. There's the HAGL team tonight. These names will become familiar to you over the next few games or so. Six games coming up in some 17 days. They go in a... It's more of like a 4-2-1-2 formation. Van Tunt will play in the centre. Brandao, the Brazilian out wide with Kong Fuang, the other side. Pashiri Mongkol Chai is the referee from Thailand. And there is the Yokohama Marinos lineup tonight. They have a Brazilian up front in Leo Serra. Hasn't scored in the league so far this season. It's his second season with the club. And they're the substitutes. Five substitutes, don't forget, still. And we're just about ready to go for the opening game in Group H. The other two teams will play straight after this in the same stadium. Jumbo Hyundai Motors taking on Sydney FC. Only the top teams go through from each group, don't forget, plus three of the best second-place teams to make up eight from the East and eight from the West in the knockout stages. And the East won't have long to wait for their knockout stage. They play in August, whereas the Western section don't play until February next year. The final of the AFC Champions League will be on February the 19th, 2023. Everybody's ready to go, I think. The referee's got the signal from the sidelines. Now everybody needs to hurry up. We seem to have been uh, just waiting around a lot over the last few minutes, but all of a sudden, there's a little bit of urgency around as the clock ticks around towards the top of the hour. Tun Lin is the HAGL goalkeeper. And it will be the Vietnamese in blue that will get us underway, kicking from left to right in the first half. It's the countdown. Ticks down. And the Thai referee will get us underway then, the opening match in Group H. It's Viano with the kick off the Brazilian. Quite a lot of Brazilians involved in these two teams straight away. Leo Serra gets the ball on the edge of the penalty area. Cleared away by Tun Lin. Atanaka backtracking under pressure from Viano. The Vietnamese will know they've got to take the game to Yokohama tonight. Yokohama are the more experienced side. Four-time J-League winners, one of the most successful Japanese clubs. Paul 
rolls harmlessly out for the goal kick. Katisuk Senemuang. Had an 18-year playing career, scored 250 goals in just under 350 appearances. He was a prolific striker in his day. Third spell in charge of HAGL. And tackled by Brandau, who felt he'd won the ball. And there's Kevin Muscat, 48 years of age, 180 appearances for Wolverhampton Wanderers in the English leagues. And he replaced Andrew Postikoglu in the... Yokohama side, he's now the manager of Celtic, of course, who are doing a pretty good job up in Scotland. Ange Postacoglu. Reminder, these sides do play each other on a home and away basis, despite the fact we're in centralised venues. Good-looking ball over the top for Leo Serra, just forced out a little bit wide. It was Hutun that came across. They play that back three, HHEL, which gives them a little bit of width through midfield with Fongdoy and Van Tan, the two wide men. Yokohama coming forward once again with Iwata, but that will go harmlessly behind for the goal kick. The East Asian sides have always fared much better in this competition. 25 editions have been won by sides from the East, just 12 by sides from the West. Of course, it was a Western side that won it last year with Saudi Arabia's Al Halal. Bayano. Kong Fuang. Matsubara is the right back for Yokohama. So Yokohama based at about an hour outside Japan, just on the coast. The big ferry terminal down there in Yokohama. Marinos means Sailors in Spanish. That's given away cheaply to Van Tan, and a chance here for HAGL. Completely missed his kick there, Kong Fuang. Bundled off the ball by Nagato. It's still alive here. It's Van Tan, which curls it off the post. Close to the opening goal. The crowd were on its feet. It was inches away from the opener. Good persistence by the Vietnamese inside the penalty area because there were plenty of white shirts back behind the ball. That's a let off for Yokohama here in the early stages. Well, it was a miss kick originally from Kong Fuang, and it looked as though the chance might have gone, but he did really well to help out in the corner and win the ball back off. Nagato, and when Van Tan cut back inside, he got the bend on the ball, but not quite enough to take it in past Teoka. Good start. Look at that by Maurizio. Chip forward by Fong Doi. And there's Hatanaka. Another long ball, brilliantly picks up by Arno. Running again at Nagato. Trying to get the ball onto a shooting chance, takes a deflection and goes for a corner. Well, the crowd are enjoying this in the early stages. HHEL are really taking the game to Yokohama. Could be a busy night for... Teoka in goal, began his career just down the road from Marinos at Yokohama FC back in 2014, but he's now played approaching 50 for Yokohama Marinos. Brandao and Bayano together. 
be swung over by Fong Doi. Into the near post, not a great ball though, it was Dong Su that got there first. Fifth appearance in the competition for Yokohama, qualified as the 2021 J-League runners-up. Last appearance was in 2020. They reached the round of 16, having gone through from the group. Went out to Suwon Blue Wings. Muscat, who took over in 2021. Eduardo, another Brazilian for Yokohama. It is the three plus one foreigner rule. You can name up more than four this year in the squad, but you can only have three plus one in your match day squad. Brazil certainly the favoured nation among the two teams tonight for their foreign players. Maurizio with a throw. I'm not sure that even came into play. I think he might have to take that one again, Maurizio. to Yokohama, a little nudge by Bayano. Played the first two years of his career in Brazil. Bayano before moving to Japan with Mito Hollyhock. Now fighting himself in Vietnam. Eduardo. Whistle's gone, the referee's just going to pull that back for a, a free kick here to the Japanese. Taken by Nagato, Iwata, Kida. The tip back from Matsubara. And there's another foul which has brought a halt to things. Tanlin with a free kick then for HAGL. Coming up to 10 minutes gone, no goals. That one shot from Van Tan, which came back off the post. Good challenge by Maurizio. They're very receptive, the crowds. Love to see things like that, good tackles, good passing. Very appreciative of what's happening in front of them. Nagato's throw. Another free kick. Yoshio giving that one away.
They are based in Pliku, JLO in Central Vietnam, HAGL. Formed a partnership with Feyenoord in the Netherlands in 2019 to set up a talent and coaching situation. Vietnamese players going to Feyenoord and Feyenoord returning the favour by sending players to Vietnam. A lot of these strategic partnerships happen these days between various clubs in different nations. It all helps the development of young players going through the chain. by Van Tan, nicely done, gets away from Nagato, who's a bit on his heels, and just came off the back of Ban... Bainau. Fong Doi. Couldn't manage to keep the ball in play. A few little errors in that from HHEL going forward. Nagato. Owata. Hatanaka. Miyachi. Forward by Matsubara, but not too much on it. It's a little clumsy with the, the pass forward from Matsubara. Fairly pensive Kevin Muscat. He was a very combative fullback in his days at. Wolves also played for Crystal Palace, Rangers, Millwall. Went to Melbourne victory at the end of his career, then ended up coaching them for six years. Dong Su. Tanaka. See Yokohama dominating the possession despite the fact that HHEL had the best chance in the game so far. Nakagawa just allowed Van Tan to nip in front of him. Might get a second chance here, Yokohama, to start something off. Iwata, Matsubara. Low balling, easily cut out by Hutun. Leo Serra, that's well played, well read by Tunan, the captain. Leo Serra was just waiting, that one for drop, but there were three blue shirts around him, one of them being the captain who intervened. Van Tan, just turned inside by Kong Fong, but no one near him. Eduardo, Kida. Kida, Iwata. It's clumsy on that final ball. Just going out of play. I think 
the Vietnamese league has, has only just restarted again for 2022. HJGL have played just four games so far. They're still looking for their first win this season. Three draws and a defeat in their opening four matches. They've only managed to score two goals in their four games as well this season. Goal scoring has been a bit of an issue for them. Distinctly like a foul throw, but he's been allowed to uh, run by the Thai referee. Oh, that's a poor challenge from Tunan. One of those scissor tackles almost. We wrapped his legs around and he's going to get a yellow card, the first one of the game. Players that pick up two yellow cards in different games are booked for the subsequent game, by the way, in the uh, six-game group format. More importantly for Yokohama, it's given them a, a free kick. Haven't created too much in terms of chances so far. See what Nagato, Nagato can do with the... Free kick here, this will whip in towards the goalkeeper. Good header away, had to deal with it, taking no chances. Leo Serra was poised, ready to uh, pick up any loose bits there. pushing and shoving that the referee's got to sort out before the corner's taken. Four players together in a group around the penalty spot. There's still a bit of pushing and shoving going on. Into Leo Serra! Brilliant flick! Cleverly done. Bit of Brazilian flair from Leo Serra. And Yokohama Marinos take the lead with a little bit of improvisation from their striker. Well, he rightly smiles, it was a lovely flick. And from the corner, Yokohama have taken the lead. Great movement, got across the ball and knew exactly what he was doing. Tan Lin may have got a hand on it, he may have been slightly unsighted by Brandao just in front of him, but take nothing away from that quality finish. And the man who's in his second season scored 10 goals in 27 league games last year in the J-League. Has got the opening goal of Yokohama's Champions League campaign here. Sometimes it takes something a little bit special to break the deadlock in a, a match that's not really having too many clear-cut chances. That's Yoshio. With the ball across, I don't think... In fact, Matsubara did keep the ball in play, but... Gives away the free kick. Brandao complaining about the challenge. I think it was the fact he tried to challenge you on the wrong side. I don't think uh, Matsubara saw him. That's probably what he's just saying there, that wasn't aware that you were there. No harm done. Van Tan, and he hit the post early on. Kong Van Tan.
goes out off uh, Maurizio. This player down injured. He just took a whack on the ankle, I think. Yoshio. Bayano. Didn't find its intended target. Van Tan. Bayano. Thought he might have just strayed offside there. Wins the throw. Bayano. Van Tan. He's overrun it. Clumsy. Van Tan. Hopped on by Nakagawa. Be a foul by Dong Su. And the referee's whistle tells you that he wants to have a, a word with Dong Su. Don't think he's going to give another yellow card. Now he knew what he was doing, Dong Su. Yoshio had turned away from him and got a good contact on the ball. Lots of niggly fouls coming in from HHEL at the moment. That was uh, Nakagawa that went down that time. Another free kick. This time it will be Kida that leaves it. Another free header! Pull it header and another goal for Yokohama. And another set piece has paid dividends for Kevin Muscat's side. It's Leo Serra once again who gets his second of the game. Far more regulation that time. It really was a bullet header. The movement from Leo Serra, there was uh, a player, it's Miachi, in fact, who'd gone right up in front of the goalkeeper. He would have been offside had he come to him. I just wonder whether that move across the keeper, you just saw Tan, Tan Lin pointing. That might just have disrupted the keeper's view going across his eye line. Watching point at the number 17, Miachi. So Yokohama Marino's double their advantage here in the first half. Two goals from Leo Serra. Last time HAGL were in the group stages in. 2005, they lost all six group games, conceded 24 goals in four games and scored just once. They'll be hoping that they can have a, a slightly better campaign this time around. Certainly already an uphill struggle for them. 
in the first half. Not even played half an hour yet, and they find themselves two goals down. Maurizio. Away by Tanlin. Ball over the top again, looking for Van Tan. Bounces through to Teoku. Good defending by Hatanaka. Just got his body across and... And in the way. Just gone out of play. We'll be delighted with the slide he started made to this campaign. Kevin Muscat. His first campaign as a coach for Yokohama. Kagawa. Iwata. Hatanaka. No Eduardo. There's Kida. Leader again, the Yokohama captain, Iwata. Didn't get a shout then because Bayano was bearing down behind. He just managed to release the ball to Hatanaka in time. Iwata. Stabbed away by Kong Fuang. That'll be a foul on Tanan, the captain. Have won the V League twice, HAGL. You have to go back to 2004, though, to find the last time they triumphed. They won it two years in a row, 2003 and 2004. Here's Leo Serra, who's on a hat-trick. Chance to set up. Miyachi, who doesn't hit the target. That was a good move. Leo Serra, who's on a hat trick, opting to try and set up his teammate there, but Miachi didn't set himself. Played at Arsenal early in his career, Rio Miachi. He's a former trainee there. With Brand out, goes down. It was a late whistle from the referee. That's a Barrett. Flying in. Tyne hands ball over the top, headed away by Eduardo for a corner. So a chance for HAGL here to pull a goal back and lift the spirits. The crowd are doing their best to lift the spirits. In swinger again in towards Teoka's goal. Good pace on the ball as well, it's gone in. I don't think he knew too much about it, but Maurizio's got the header on it. And HAGL are back in this, falling backwards. He didn't see where the ball had gone. It's a little fortunate, but sometimes in football you need some luck, and that's exactly what the Vietnamese have had there. 
The big centre half, Maurizio Barbosa, with a backward header that puts the ball beyond the goalkeeper Teoka. And HHEL are back in the game before half time. Maurizio seemed to just get turned by the defenders. Somehow he got a header on it. He may have gone off the defender, in fact, looking at that. Was it an own goal off the captain? Well, either way, HHL has scored and his Bayano. Shot blocked. That should just open the game up a little bit now. Kong Fuang. Tanan. Well, set pieces have produced all three goals so far. And that's been credited as Akida own goal, captain. But certainly Maurizio's presence had a lot to do with it. HHG won't care who gets credited with a goal as long as they score. You saw what it meant to the coach. Katisuk Senemwang on the sidelines. He knows all about goal scoring, he was prolific in his day. Good play again, Bayano. Van Tan through the channel, staying on side. Bayano's racing through the middle, can he come up with a decent cross? A little drag back once again. Sliced away by Hatanaka, still not cleared. That was Tanan trying to play it goalwards, Dong Su's header. Van Tan was coming back from an offside position, so couldn't go towards the ball. Dong Su. Van Tan. Van Tan. Two Van Tans with slightly different spellings and slightly different pronunciations in the Vietnam side or in the HHEL side. Tuan An. Van Tan off the shins of Hatanaka. Away by Nagato. There's another late whistle from the referee. Brandau was just racing after that, trying to keep the ball in play. Misplaced and out of play for the goal kick. Well, it's given them a lifeline, HAGL. You felt if Yokohama got another, there'd be no way back, but the fact that they managed to make it 2 1. I always find that's the strange thing about a 2 0 scoreline. The next goal is always vitally important. It gives the 
Chasing team a lifeline now. Iwata. Nakagawa. Trying to thread a pass, but didn't quite come off for him. Eduardo. The goalkeeper did well under a little bit of pressure. Teoka had to get that one right. Iwata. Tanaka. Kida. Tayoka's a long way out of his goal. Eduardo. That was aimed towards Nakagawa, but lacking the pace. Van Tan guides it back to Tuan Lin. Offside flag up against Bayano. Had a spell in Saudi Arabia, Al Mosul. Also played in Japan, Korea. Al Hal Al, -Al in Bahrain. Been much travelled. Jefferson Bayano. Van Tone just left the ball behind. Trying to take it quickly, Kida, but the ball was moving. And there was the foul from Maurizio. So the other teams in the group will meet after this game today. Jumbo Hyundai Motors against Sydney FC. Sydney, one of two Australian teams in the AFC Champions League this season. Melbourne City made their debuts yesterday. Van Tan. Kida. And a player down injured, so ball put out of play. It is Leo Serra, the man who scored the two goals that put Yokohama Marinos in charge early on in this game. Kevin Muscat will be pleased, but not as pleased as the fact that his side have actually conceded a goal in the game when they were looking at cruising at 2-0. <clears throat> Foul on Kong Fuang, Leo Serres. OK. We'll restart with a, a drop ball. Leo Serra will have to wait to be called back on, of course, which he's he done now by the referee. So back to a full compliment, Yokohama. Here's Eduardo. Now Nagato. Hatanaka. Had a playoff for Matsubara. Fong Doi with a throw inside the final five minutes of the first half. It's been a half that's got slightly better as it's worn on. It started off very slowly, but the goals helped just to liven things up a bit. Here's Bay up by Bayano.
Nagato. Nakagawa. Rode the one challenge, but not the second from Kong Fuang. So another set piece here for HAGL to deal with at the end of the first half. He got away from the challenge of Van Tan, but not the second one. This is another dangerous position if they can put the ball on Leo Serra's head again. We've seen what his heading ability is like. It was Nagato that took the one for the second goal. Just watch that run again, see if they get that run from Miachi across the goalkeeper like they did before, that just seemed to unsight Tan Lin slightly. Don't have VAR, of course, just to check back on these things. I think he went across his eye line and just distracted him slightly when that ball came in. It is Nagato, and there was that run from Miachi, but this time the ball goes over everybody. Not a good delivery that time from the fullback. Nagato, who only joined Yokohama for the start of this season. Seven games in the J League so far of the ten that they played. Maurizio. Twanan. Nagato. Kida. Nudging the back again by Kong Fuang. It was a clumsy one to give away. So especially when they know they've already conceded goals from set pieces. Need to try and not give these silly free kicks away. There was no need really for him to do that. Kida was going nowhere. There were plenty of defenders around him. Will be Kida. That's over the free kick. Nagato, better delivery away by Dong Su. Chase on here for Van Tone. Back pass was good enough back to Teoka. Good sight when all the mobile phones are lit up. It's a feature of a lot of uh, clubs these days around the world. Two minutes added time at the end of the first half. Water. Far by Van Tone, who felt he'd won the ball. Nakagawa. Missed by Dong Su, but there was a covering defender in Hu Tuan. Kida. Miwata. Hatanaka. Leo Serra. Didn't quite dip enough. Great effort again, looking for his hat trick before half time, the Brazilian. 
He really has got an eye for goal. Sat up beautifully for him. And goalkeeper, well, if that is a metre lower, that's going in and extending the lead to 3-1. Half-time whistle goes, an entertaining half that was lit up by three goals. Leo Serra with a couple, the one an audacious flick the first, the second a bullet header from Nogato's free kick. And then an own goal from Kida under pressure from Maurizio. Reduced the deficit to get HHEL back into the game before half-time. At the break, it's Hongan, Gia Lai, one, Yokohama Marinos, two.
Welcome back to Vietnam. Teams back out for the second half. The opening game in Group H between HAGL and Yokohama Marinos. 2-1 to the Japanese at half-time. Leo Serra scored twice to put Yokohama in front. Noon on goal for Maurizio Kida. Backward header, getting HHEL back in it before half time. So we're nicely set up for the second half. It'll be Yokohama in the white, kicking from left to right in the second half. Fong Doi felt that that had touched Yokohama player on its way out. It didn't, so it will be Matsubara to take the throw. Shot from Leo Serra took a deflection. First corner of the second half. Set pieces produced all three goals in that first half. Leo Serra has shown how good his aerial ability is. He's attacking the ball once again, didn't quite get there that time. As they're coming together with Bayano. I think there's a, an injury here. They both might be a clash of heads, Bayano and Leo Serra. It wasn't so much a clash of heads, he just almost headed the back of Leo Serra's back, I think. Bayano. Good competitive challenge between those two. Senem Wang, the uh, Thai coach of HAGL. It's his third spell in charge of the team. It's his first coaching appointment when he finished playing. Kevin Muscat just in consultation with his coaching staff. I'm sure they're already plotting substitutions for a little bit later on. Teams can make five changes, don't forget. Tanaka just been spoken to. Out swinging corner this time from Nagato. Leo Serra, free header off the bar. Well, that was arguably easier than the one he scored in the first half. And here come HHEL on the counter. Bayano through the middle. No, oh, it's given away. It's gone for a corner, though. They tried to break quickly. It was Van Toon down that far side.
So Fong Doi to swing the corner over. Five blue shirts inside the penalty area. Maurizio's there who caused the problems for the first goal. It was a good delivery that time. Can he do the same again? He's definitely got a height advantage over the players marking him. Back to Van Tan. It's another deflection and behind for another corner. Was a play down on the edge of the penalty area, Yoshio, and the referee having to intervene. All getting a little bit bad tempered on the edge of the area. Not too sure what happened to Yoshio and how he ended up on the deck. That's one way to do it. Captain turns physio to help Yoshio. A little bit winded, I think. So now we will have the corner once again. Good ball, whipped in again, and it was Maurizio who got his header to that one. Well, that took another deflection. Fong Doi with the corner. Third one in quick succession for HAGL. Can they make this one count? Better header away that time from Eduardo. Fong Doi. Brandao. Good shape. Twan An with a shot and pushed up into the air by Teoka. Gathered at the second attempt. Hutan with the clearance. Expecting quite an open game in the second half. Those goals just did open things up in the first half. There's Matsubara. Stab through again, it's just too far ahead of Leo Serra. Offside flag up against Bayano. She went a fraction too early there. The Brazilian influence running through this HHL side is noticeable. Bayano, Maurizio, and Brandao. Tanaka. Eduardo. Nagato. Good covering from Dong Su. Away by Hu Tuan. Eduardo's header. Clumsily given away by Maurizio. So throw into Yokohama Marino. Still 2 1, they lead from the first half. There's two goals from Leo Serra. Matsubara. On to Miachi. I think the referee will pull that back for a foul on 
Matsubara. Gathered by Twanlin. No clear cut chances in the second half. As yet. Brandau. Away by Hatanaka. Yoshio. Uwata, now Eduardo. Kida. It's Kida that was credited with the own goal for the goal that got HAGL back into it. Eduardo. Matsubara. Aimed in towards Leo Serra, wet by Dong Su. Kida. Hatanaka. HGL waiting to make a change, it would appear, on the sidelines. First change of the evening. El Trong is waiting to come on. Here's Eduardo. Matsubara. Miyachi. Won't be able to keep that one in play. Races away for a goal kick, so the change will be made now. The first one. It's going to be the captain, Twanan, who was booked in that first half, who goes off. Long Juan Tron comes on. Played for Vietnam in the 4 0 qualifying defeat to Australia at the end of January. Iwata. Matsubara. They're trying to play that little quick, quick passing triangles, but just over hit it. Bayano. Good defending by Hatanaka. Eduardo. Nagato. Just misplaced again. One or two misplaced passes just creeping into the game at the moment. As we approach the hour mark here. The other two teams in the group will play after this at the same stadium. John Book Hyundai Motors from Korea against Sydney FC from Australia. Leo Serra fouled again by Maurizio.
Yokohama are also looking to make a change in just a moment. They won't do it, I don't think, before the uh, free kick's been taken. Nagato, once again, he's over the ball. Kida's there as well, and once again, he leaves it. Nagato punched away by Twanlin. Volleyed high over the top by Yoshio. Didn't really set himself for that one at all. Tried to tee it up for himself, but... Didn't quite come off for him. Has taken a deflection, though, so he might make the, the best of a bad situation. Five players in a little huddle. Yoshio goes there as well. That's not a great ball. They didn't have a great height on it. Nagato. Kida. Headed on by Yoshio. Away by Van Tan. HAGL qualified for this by virtue of the fact that when the V League was cancelled in 2021 after 12 games, they were top of the table. Haven't won the title, as we mentioned, since 2004, but they were in a good position. They'd won nine of their 12 games. Here comes Van Toon, just rolled across Brandao, Bayano, Fong Doi. Away by Miachi. And Brandau away by Hatanaka, only as far as Fong Doi. Can he make room for the shot? He did make room, but the shot was nowhere near the target. Away by Kida. Still, it's not properly cleared though, and now there might be a break on. Well played, Maurizio read it well, and it's a measured pass as well. Good ball in towards by Bayano, plucked out of the air by Tayoka. I think the change will be made. Indeed it is, it's Marcos coming on. That's a triple change. No, Marcos, Joel. And Fuzanuma are the players that are coming on. Marcos, another Brazilian. Nakagawa is one of those that's gone off. Iwata is another. Inside to goal here for Bayano. Oh, just wanted to try and drag it back inside Hatanaka, who made the challenge. Well, the coach is saying exactly what he would have done as a striker. Hit it early. Bayano probably wanted one too many touches. Corner though to HAGL. 70 goals in 131 appearances for Thailand. Kiati Shup Senwang.
Good header away at the near post. Played back out to Kong Fuang, but he's offside when that ball was played forward. Eduardo was the other player that's made way, by the way, for Yokohama. Hatanaka. Kida. There's Mizanuma, the man who's just come on. Kida. Marcos. Chase on here for Vanton, who's in round the back. The flag's up for offside, though. Very close one. And Lin under no pressure to clear the ball away. It was a from Joel. It's actually Yoshia, by the way, that went off, not uh, Eduardo. Great ball, Elio Serra, good save, and the follow-up header from Marcos is wide. But Leo Serra denied a hat-trick. Another good header. In between the two defenders, got round the back of Dong Su, pushed away by Tan Lin. And Marcos misses the target completely. The substitute has only just come on. Well, an introduction that would have been for the Brazilian. A bit of cramp here, I think, for Leo Serra. Do you see quite a lot of players cramping up with the, the heat in these uh, Eastern venues? It's a good save by Twan Lin. Had to react with Leo Serra, not too far ahead of him. Let's hope that's not too serious for the man who scored the two goals.
Well, sometimes cramp you can get over, sometimes it's a little bit worse, and Leo Serra looks in that, a little bit of pain there with the, the cramp, so we'll see whether he's able to continue or whether Yokohama have to make another change. Twenty minutes to go. Trong. Played back by Kong Fuang. Maurizio. Looking for Bayano. Trying to get the better of Eduardo. He's got around the back of him as well. Trolls tries to pull the ball back. Hatanaka clears. Van Tone. And there is the change. Leo Serra is going to have to go off. So Nishimura comes on. Fong Doi. Hu Tuan. Marcos. Not a great cross, but keeping the ball at the right end of the field. No real chances, no clear-cut chances anyway in this second half. That was Miachi that uh, sliced that one over the top. Just a one shot on target so far from HAGL. Only three shots on target for Yokohama. Goalkeepers misjudged that one. Just got there before Mizunuma. Just seemed to spin away from him as it bounced, and Mizunuma was the favourite, but he recovered well. Marcos plays the ball inside. Mizunuma. Away by Hutuan. Van Toon. Matsubara. Do look composed on the ball at times, Yokohama. String a good number of passes together. To give you an idea of their dominance in the passing, they've... I look like handball, offside as well, I think, against Miyachi. NHL have completed only 200 passes. More than double that for the Yokohama Marinos. Yeah, well offside. Miyachi. Injury here to the goalkeeper, Hyun Tuan Lin. We side haven't been overawed in this competition as they were when they last played in the group stage with those big defeats. So they conceded 24 goals in four games in 2005. A lot has changed since then. The standard in Vietnam has got much better. Experienced goalkeeper. Hyun Tuan Lin played 157 times for Tan Quang Nin.
Good header from Matsubara. Back to the goalkeeper. Joel. Kida. Tone. Well, just caught by Joel. I think that might be a yellow card as well for Joel because Van Tone was bearing down. He wasn't the last man. I mean, he's had a little kick out. He knew exactly what he was doing there, Joel. Yellow card confirmed, not surprisingly. And we've had some good set pieces so far. What could HAGL do from the free kick? A couple of players in front of the wall, one of them kneeling. They're not allowed to stand within a metre of the wall these days. Two players kneeling, in fact, just to try and put off that wall. Goes off the top of the, the wall there from Truong. Bounces up for Tayoka, who gathers at the second attempt. Marcos. Got Nishimura in the middle. Matsubara, Mizunuma, away by Dong Su. Joel, hooked away by Truong. He's got the captain's armband on, the substitute after coming on, Bayano. Matsubaka. Joel. Matsubara. Kida. Oh, it's just... Across his shins, Kida couldn't keep it in play. No addition to the half-time score, still 2-1 to Yokohama F. Marinos. Marcos. Now, Bayano would have been offside, and still offside. I think it was the fact he'd strayed. He was just coming back from an offside position when that ball was played over the top. Just offside there. Mizunuma. Well, slipped by Fong Doi, and that could have been costly. But a hesitation at the back almost allows Mizunuma in.
Eduardo. Heavy touch might just get there first, and it's not probably cleared though. Chance here to set up by Arno, but it's not a good cross from Van Toon. Didn't get the height on it that he needed. Bit of cramp creeping in for Eduardo, it would appear now as well. Did well, Eduardo, to try and get there, but just overstretched slightly. We'll need to go off the field before he can come back on, Eduardo. Top just too much on it. Tayoka kept his eye on it. Must be a big boost for Yokohama Marinos if they can hang on, but it's a good fight. For this from HAGL. That's a foul by Brandau. It seemed a late whistle again from the. Referee, the crowd, and well, the coach is not happy either. I don't think that's a foul, that's a well won by Brandau. Not too sure Matsubara didn't kick Brandau. Another change for Yokohama. Sonoda coming up. Eduardo has gone off. So the two players that have suffered with a little bit of crap, the goal scorer Leo Serra and now Eduardo have both made way. Sensible thing to do. The games come thick and fast here. Every three or four days you get another game. So get them in the ice baths and get them ready for the next match. Sonoda. Back to Tayoka. Plenty of fouls committed by HA. GL tonight just contributing to a, a stop start game, really. Joel. Marcos. Matsubara. Marcos. Back to Kida. Marcos had continued his run forward. Foul trip on Brenda this time. So he does get a free kick going the right way. Five minutes to go, just a fraction over five minutes to go. Yokohama leading HAGL by two goals to one.
Trung. Fong Doi. Brandau. Su all the way back to Twan Lin. Good long clearance, but nobody in blue will get anywhere near that. Nagato can allow it to be dealt with by Tayoka, who waits for the goal kick. Van Toon getting involved. I think Van Toon thought the ball was back in play. I don't think it was uh, had been taken from the goal kick. Well, the ball wasn't back in play. Van Toon seemed to think that it was. Little bit of uh, frustrations at the end of the game. Straight onto the chest of Fong Doi. Fantone looking to try and create a, a shooting chance, maybe. Shot took a deflection of Trong's effort, goes wide. Kiatisuk Simwang applauds his team's efforts. Strong finish now, could put Yokohama under some pressure in the final few moments here. Swinging corner. They scored in the first half from a corner. The own goal from Kida. Goalkeeper gets a good punch on it, only as far as Trong. Oh, it's just bounced wide. Well, he knows how close he That takes a touch in the middle. And that's an equaliser. They know how close it was. Just a touch needed, it bounced right the way across and Hu Tuan couldn't get a touch. Oh, good shot, just fingered it wide by Tuan Lin. Almost a third goal for Yokohama. Just pushing forward. HHEL leaving that little bit of space at the back. Mizunuma forcing the save.
Marcos. Where by Hatanaka into four minutes added time, by the way, at the end of the half. Foul by Trong. Mizunuma. Good ball over the top, Mizunuma's in behind, flags up for offside though. Fong Doi. Just too far ahead of Van Toon. Tayoka will gather. Kevin Muscat said beforehand he knew that the Vietnamese would provide stern opposition tonight, and that's been the case. They haven't managed to put some breathing space between themselves and HAGL. Did get that two goal cushion in the first half, but good resilience. Got the Vietnamese back in the game, and they might still get something from the game as well. Van Tone's offside. Unlucky. He's worked hard tonight up front. Noyan Van Tone. Hasn't scored for nearly 12 months. Scored in a 2-2 draw with Binh Duong just over a year ago. Over 150 appearances he's been at. He's been at a one club man. Mizunuma. Dong Su just missed the challenge away by Maurizio. Not very far though. Oh, what a miss. Great chance to really wrap it up for Miyachi. And he's put the ball wide of the target, but it doesn't matter because the full-time whistle goes. Miyachi would have put the seal on it had he managed to find the top corner, but fires over. He just ran the final few seconds off the clock. Leo Serra scored twice for Yokohama Marinos in the first half. An own goal from Kida, the Yokohama captain, got HAGL back into it before half-time, but there was no addition to the scoring in the second half. It's a winning start for the Australians under Kevin Muscat. Full time here in Ho Chi Minh City. It's Wang Anjia Lai 1, Yokohama F Marinos 2.